Hi, it's Elizabeth May here. I'm in front of Parliament Hill as Bill Morneau has just completed his fall economic update. As all Canadians will know, because Liberals have been crowing about it for some time, and it is good news, Canada is showing substantial economic growth compared to what we were a few years ago. We had a stagnant economy for a very long time, and we're now showing economic growth ahead of other, any other country in the G7. Unemployment rates are down and youth unemployment is down, which is certainly good news. Uh, the GDP, the debt to GDP ratio has also improved. Now, given those good economic indicators, it doesn't mean we have eliminated deficit. The deficit will be on the order of $8 billion less by spring than what they had projected at the time of last year's budget. Uh, personally, I look at these numbers and think, we need to spend more. We're not out of the woods yet on our infrastructure deficit. We haven't restored scientific capacity to the government of Canada. So while we're running a deficit, we actually need to spend more. I don't believe in going into deep deficit and debt. So the solution has to be that some parts of our economy, some actors in the economy need to pay their fair share of tax. And right now, large profitable transnationals are not doing so. I am pleased uh, the Green Party pushed for it to reduce the small business tax to 9%. That is, with more detail in the fall update, going to be phased in over a couple of years. So you won't see the 9% uh, for a couple of years, but it starts with 10% next year and then working downward. Uh, we do know that we need to see climate action and the elimination of subsidies. That was a big promise in the Liberal platform, was to eliminate fossil fuel subsidies. But Bill Morneau's fall economic update makes no mention of it. So that's the quick and dirty, and you can read all the details on the Green Party website. For now, I'll just keep pushing for a greener budget.